I present to you the Suzuki V-Strom 650 of model year 2013. Why am I showing you this? We have a slight problem, and that is right here. So this is the Gibby roll bars come in two pieces. You have uh, a left and a right side here. It ties into the frame at uh, two different points uh, on each side. One here, one here, bolted connections. Uh, but then it also connects to the other side via uh, this connection right here. And it's just a slip fit compression connection. So this connection right here. You can see that uh, you have a stop here, uh, kind of like a ferrule, uh, and these two slide into it. Then you have a bolt into a nut on the back side of this. And this bolt, there is a spacer. This spacer is loose. So, two options. One, we could tighten this up more and see if it's just loose. Uh, and as we tighten it, it should put pressure on this and we should be good to go. But if these are already bottomed out on this, then this shouldn't tighten too much and we're still gonna rattling. But anyway, any rate, at about 5,000 RPM, this thing just starts rattling terribly. How do we fix that? Let's try a few things. Yeah, that's pretty tight already. Yeah, I don't see that getting any better. All right, let's just undo it completely. You can see what it did to the threads there. These are all ground down just from this rolling around on the inside of it. And it might start, if we tighten it up too much, it might start getting into the worn down thread areas and we may not be able to tighten it anymore. So, let us do two things. One, let's use our lathe. Focus. What do I gotta do? I'm just gonna start hitting you. Violence solves everything. Okay, and by hitting, I mean tap the screen to focus it. Maybe a hundred thou longer. And then the ID will make it just a hair. And you can see how much wiggle room there is there. So make that a little snugger as well. Uh, we'll keep the bolt and we'll come back. Let's go on a search and see if we can find something in all this scrap. That'll be close to what we want. Uh, we got a little rectangle of steel and flat wings. Right here. Mm -hmm. Prefer for it to not to rust out. I think it's a tool base steel. Some aluminum. Aluminum also rust. That was too large. Hey, there you go. So. 304 stainless steel. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We'll take that. Okay, let's go cut off a, so a section. What am I doing? This is, this is ridiculous. All right, we'll go clean this up on the lathe. All right, now the length. So original one was uh, 783, so we'll make the new one 0.84, I think. So new one is 0.878. Hey, that's about perfect. That's close enough, right? I think that's close enough. Now let's do the hole, which is approximately 3.33. The original bolt is 310 roughly. All right, so I got a drill bit that'll do 0.308. It's a note, the letter N. Um, we can always go up just a little bit more as we go on. Nice, easy little bushing. Fun little weekend project. Alright. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's start her back up and see if the rattle goes away.
right. That seems to have solved it. No more mysterious highway rattle. Now on to the next thing. So they make a type of strain relief uh, for cruise control where you use the bottom of your wrist to push and turn the throttle. And that uh, lets you kind of loosen your hand, put it on top, and still maintain uh, throttle control. Um, this is my own design here and I loosely base this off of this. I'll put a link in the description to the Thingiverse item. This is, um, and it, it worked fairly well. I liked it. Um, I made a PLA, which was, don't do that. Um, <laughs> but what I didn't like was that when I had this originally on uh, over here, like I, part of my fingers had to uh, be on this portion and it was just too much of a difference and it came too far over to where like the base of my hand when I went to go uh, stop was uh, was get like I couldn't really get more than just the web of my thumb in here to like take the braking force um, so I made my own which is less in terms of this area here uh, it doesn't protrude into my grip as far as this one you can see there. And then in general it is just a hair shorter uh, to allow me to put my the palm of my hand against here uh, for braking. So, so yeah, my fingers don't end up... My fingers are, have plenty of grip, they don't touch this, and I, I can still get most of the palm of my hand into here uh, to take the braking force when I do brake. Uh, I used a zip tie which goes through an internal chamber here so you just push it through the internal chamber it comes out the other side uh, to secure it and that's it it's made out of PETG we'll see if it's uh, good enough to hold up in the uh, the heat because uh, this one is designed to use a, a piece of velcro strap going through the loop here uh, to secure it and cinch it down which is uh, probably a better alternative than zip tie uh, from the standpoint of you can take this off really easily and put it right back on and not have to cut the zip tie and then put a new zip tie on when you put it back on so this does have that benefit but making it out of PLA was a bad idea as the the sun especially uh, when I put the bike under a cover during the middle of the day uh, the sun is enough to to melt this uh, and make it less uh, yeah, what's the word? It makes it more pliable, uh, and it was it it no longer it was no longer strong enough on its own uh, to work. You can see it's it's slipping now. But uh, with that Velcro strap that it's designed for, it'd probably be just fine. But uh, like I said, I just wanted mine off to the side, so it would work well. So there's no internal portion of uh, the handle on this right here so it's just kind of rubber and so it's real flexible the rubber itself is real flexible not uh, the plastic piece itself which I think is fine I have no problem with that give a little give we'll see how it works in practice and then uh, 3d printed PETG GoPro mount to the RAM And that's off a of Thingiverse as well. But uh, we'll see. Last one I used, I tightened it up and, and gravity was enough to pull it down. So we'll see if we end up making our own. So this is what happened um, <clears throat> to the other one. It melted in the sun. <laughs> that's supposed to be... Uh, straight up and down not uh, curved over like that <laughs> so PLA no good for motorcycle accessories because uh, this all this was holding was the weight of a GoPro case without the GoPro in it anyway hope you enjoyed this little uh, quick Saturday uh, motorcycle fix up all right take care 
If you're a motorcyclist out there watching this video, real quick, pull over to the side of the road, then watch the video. Don't do it at the 